So I'm going to be starting off with some primer on my eyes. I'm using the Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion in the shade Enigma. It's just a matte neutral shade that will neutralize any veins and discoloration and just give me a really nice base for some eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take Wet n Wild Brulee and a Morphe E30 brush and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid, all the way up to my brow. This is going to be my base color just so that my shadows blend really nicely. And I really, really love using that shade. Then I'm going to take this eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. This is Makeup Geek Tuscan Sun. And I'm going to apply that with the same E30 from Morphe. And I'm going to use this as my transition shade. Next, I'm taking this other shade from Makeup Geek. This is called Pillow Talk. And it's a beautiful metallic color. I'm applying that with a flat shader brush from Tarte. And yeah, I just, I'm obsessed with this shade. One of the most beautiful purpley pinks I've ever seen in my life. To add some definition, I'm going to take this crease brush from NYX and I'm taking MAC Sketch and I'm going to start applying that to the outer V of my eye very, very lightly. I didn't um, expect it to be as dark or I applied a little bit too much. So you are going to see me really, really try to work this shadow into the outer V. I am going to take a little bit of this other shade called Deep Damson from MAC and this is just to keep the burgundy shade. I didn't want it to just look black. I kind of wanted it to look like a burgundy purpley color. So I'm just going to kind of take both colors and work that into my outer V a little bit in the crease as well. Going back to Tuscan Sun and this is just to reinforce the pinky orangey shade just because I want it to fade it, fade it out nicely and I'm just using the other side of that tart brush. Then I'm going back with a clean brush and taking up, picking up a little bit more of that uh, brulee shade from Wet n Wild. And this is just to clean up underneath the brow bone and just make it not look so messy. <laughs> then I'm taking a little bit more of Pillow Talk and I'm actually going to foil the eyeshadow which is just applying some Fix Plus or setting spray and I'm just going to focus that right on the lid. Um, so anything that has glycerin in it will foil the eyeshadow. I'm just using a spray from Makeup Forever. Then I'm going to do my foundation. So I'm taking the Makeup Forever Velvet Matte Plus foundation and I mixed it with the Urban Decay just because the Makeup Forever is a little bit light for me and Urban Decay um, has the nice skin-like effect of it. It's not as matte, so I like mixing the two. And I'm just blending that in with my beauty blender. And for concealer, I'm going to use good old Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand. I'm applying that in a triangular form underneath my eyes. And I'm also going to blend that in with my beauty blender, of course. To set my concealer, I'm taking the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just going to apply that or dust that underneath my eyes. Then I'm taking a bigger brush and I'm just going to apply the same powder all over my face to set my foundation. For bronzer, I'm using one of my all-time favorites. This is the Laura Mercier Baked Blush Bronzer in the shade Ritual. And I'm taking that with one of my favorite brushes at the moment. This is from Elysium Brushes. I don't remember the name off the top of my head. I will have it listed down below for you guys. It's a beautiful, big brush that I love to apply my bronzer with. And yep, totally picked my nose there. <laughs> For highlight, I'm taking the uh, Laura Mercier, whoa, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, and I'm just gonna take that top shade and highlight my life away. I think the shade is called Mimosa, I wanna say. I will have everything listed down below, like I said.
For blush, I chose this CoverGirl blush in the shade Brick Rose, and I'm applying that with another Elysium Brushes brush. This is one of their blush brushes, and I'm obsessed with that shade of blush. It's really pretty. Then I'm going to do my eyeliner and I'm using the Inglot AMC Gel Liner in 77 and I'm applying that with a brush. I believe this brush is from Sedona Lace and it's just an angled brush. My camera actually cut off so I am sorry about that but I'm going to also apply my lashes. My lashes are from Coco Lashes in the, shade, in the style Goddess. For brows, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Brunette and I'm just going to take the darker shade and I'm using an angled brush, this one's from Sigma, to just fill in my brows, elongate my tail, you know, all that good stuff. To finish up my eye look, I'm taking an eyeliner from L'Oreal. This is a voluminous smoldering liner in brown. And I'm kind of meeting up that wing. I was kind of trying to go for something new here. I never really have done this before. Not sure if I quite like it. I do like it on other people. Not sure if I'm crazy about it on me. But whatever. I tried something new. Then I'm just going to take that same shade Pillow Talk and apply that to my lower lash line. I'm using a brush from Motor Brushes by Lang Royal and Langnickel, which are brushes that you can find at Walmart. I do have a full review on those brushes, so I will leave that linked down below for you guys. To smoke it out, I am taking a little bit of that shade from MAC, which is called Sketch, and I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line right there. For my inner corner, I'm taking MAC Naked Lunch and I'm just applying that to my tear duct area just to highlight a little bit. Then I'm going to apply a few coats of mascara. This one's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Voluminous, I want to say, and I'm just going to try to blend my lashes in with the fake lashes. And for lips, I'm taking MAC, ooh, this is Subculture, I want to say. I don't think it's Subculture. I'll leave it listed down below for you guys. I always forget. I filmed this tutorial weeks ago, and I finally got my laptop working again, so I apologize for not remembering, <laughs> but I will have it listed down below for you guys. So I'm just going to line my lips, and then I'm going to take two ColourPop liquid, um, matte liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade, it's Stingray, and I'm also going to mix the Ultra Satin Lip in Molly, just to make it a little bit lighter and softer. And you can just see how it just makes it a little bit softer, a little bit more rosy. I really, really love this lip color, this little lip concoction. And they're affordable enough that if you take two, if you buy two, it's not, it's still going to come out to, you know, 10 bucks, which is still, I think, drugstore price. So yeah, that completes the rest of this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This was a requested look from one of my last videos. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, for sticking by. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.